Well, this location behind Richard Mulligan of MGM UA's teachers should look familiar to you because this is a college, a, a high school classroom. It could be a college classroom, I suppose, a grade school yeah. classroom. Classrooms are classrooms, teachers are teachers, maybe your teacher in the movie Teachers yes. is unique. However, and yet it turns out ironically, in some ways, he's the best of the bunch. Could you describe him for us? Yeah, Herbert. <laughs> Herbert, um, Herbert is an outpatient from a mental clinic who one day walks past a ringing telephone that is not his and answers it. And it's this high school JFK looking for a substitute teacher. And Herbert says he would love to come over and teach, although he has no reason, no qualities. And he arrives and takes over a history class and uh, takes a classroom full of bored kids and turns them into uh, energetic, involved, excited, learning you know, people. And the idea embedded here, Richard Mulligan, is so fascinating because it says that theater can become an educational tool. Yeah. Which I'm wondering, have you ever encountered this in a direct way, either from teachers you've had or in any teaching you may have ever done with I, uh, I don't know. People? I don't know that I ever had it in... in uh, we had uh, in, in this, the high school I went to, Cardinal Hayes in the Bronx, New York, we had teachers who knew how to entertain. We knew teachers who had, knew how to grab a classroom full of people, sometimes by intimidation if necessary, but mostly they did it with humor and with fun and uh, with challenge. Uh, they, they could do it. No one ever dressed up the way <laughs> Herbert dresses up to do it. But, uh, the idea of being a performer teacher is a terrific idea, I think. And let's, let's borrow a phrase that we heard back in the 60s when some of the characters teaching in JFK High School were uh, first coming into their careers. Consciousness raising. Do you think teachers raises one's consciousness about the problems that teachers face today? The film, you mean? Yes. Oh, yes, I think so. I think that's one of, that's one of, the, one of, the, one of the big values about teachers as a film, and that it does <clears throat> alert us or sensitize us to the teacher's problems. Um, it's a difficult life they're in now. The, I mean, the, the good ones, the veteran ones, who, and the, the young ones coming in who really want to teach, the problems they have uh, with administration and with the student body uh, seems to be counterproductive to uh, teaching and learning. It, it's it's um, the children are undisciplined and and uh, uh, insensitive and inconsiderate enough of them are anyway to disrupt the classroom and hurt a classroom. Do you hope that those children will come to see this yes. movie? I hope they will come to see the movie. To get some idea of what, what their teachers go through. They should, really, really should know about that. With the little bit of time we have left, could you give us yourself a bit of the range of your character portrayals? Because I really find you one of the really solid character okay. actors working right now on TV Thank and film. You. Thank you. The range is enormous. Thank Some you. highlights. From my acting stuff. Yes. Uh, the last film I did is Mickey and Maud, which will be coming out of Blake Edwards' movie with Dudley Moore, in which I play a very straight character. And this teacher's fellow was a little eccentric. And uh, General Custer was a little peculiar, and Bert was a little strange. Uh, a lot of the plays I did was just straight verse dramas and tragedies. And I like having all ends of the rainbow to go with. Incidentally, here in the classroom is a book called Survival. Can you see that? I think it could be a good subtitle for the movie Teachers. Very, very right. Teachers and students both. Richard Mulligan, also one of the survivors of MGM UA's movie Teachers. And watch for his Herbert, because a most unusual educational experience indeed. This is John Tibbetts.